Hello again, citizens. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another update of my hangar module. Um, this is right after patch 9, so this is also going to include some patch 9 updated information. Uh, one thing I did want to let you know is uh, they've included a lot of different sounds. You can now hear a variety of different sounds on a variety of different surfaces. Um, so that's good. Let's go into the hangar here real quick. Now you can hear my footsteps, right? Okay, if I go to first person, a lot of those you can't hear anymore. That's just something you got to work on. You cannot hear footsteps, but you, unless you're in third person, then you can hear footsteps. Yay. Okay. Um, let's talk about a couple of different things they've added. They've added a display case for medals, awards, or things like this that... <laughs> I have nothing. Okay, and then we're going to move on. Let's take a look at the fish tank. They have updated the fish tank. They've added some things in the fish tank. Let's go first person. Boom. Uh, you can see right there, right in the center of the screen, you've got a space helmet, or maybe that's a deep sea diving helmet. It's got some barnacles growing all over it and pretty cool. But you'll also notice the two fish that you own the Midas and the alien fish, where is it at? It's way up there. Um, they've reduced them in size. They've made them more, um, you know, just a normal mid-sized fish. They're not small like little goldfish. They're not large like, um, you know, like they were, the giant fish. What they are, they're just normal mid-sized fish, and you can uh, probably get a lot more fish in there. So you can go from planet to planet collecting fish. <laughs> Okay, um, they've also added this little cave thing here. It looks pretty cool. The water's bubbling up, and uh, pretty cool. I like it. The little plants and stuff, they've, they've added that. They've also added uh, what they call client-side persistence. Well, um, I'm going to test that out a little bit. Uh, when, when I'm talking about client-side persistence, which means is there's a little file on your computer at your house. Okay, you'll notice that a lot of new sounds in the buggy. The buggy has a lot of new sounds. How come I can't look left and right? What's going on? Whoa. the humming of the engine. Wheel squeak squeeching screeching. Drifting. There we go, let's drift a little bit over here. No, I should have Okay, cool. Let me get out of that thing. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, just had too much fun doing that. Now, let's go over to show you the client-side persistence. So, what I mean by that is certain files are saved on your home computer or wherever you've got your Star Citizen hangar saved. Um, s but it, in the past, every time that you've logged in, it would reboot itself, reset itself, and everything would be right where it's supposed to be when the... Uh, when the game designers decided where it was going to start, right? Well, if you move anything or make any changes, uh, it would just automatically reset back to default. Well, now, if you make any changes, those changes will stay because there's a little file on your computer that's letting you know that it's stayed. And I'm going to prove this by going into the um, table here. And uh, another thing, uh, the, the tab key is actually toggled. Right now, you're moving around, right? But if I just tap the tab key 
now I can now I have a mouse pointer and uh, I tap the t tab key again it's gone I'm moving around I'm looking around okay tap don't have to hold it down anymore okay I'm gonna move the uh, hornet over and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way to thrusters which is right there this item I'm gonna take it off right and then what we're gonna do is we're going to hit tab so it'll be I'm released from the table and then I will get away from the table and you saw the thruster disappear from my hornet right the thruster is gone okay so let's go ahead and log out and then log back in and see if that thruster is in fact gone welcome back we are in back in the hangar and if you take a look the buggy is not moved because I had parked it up on the platform here so that is back to original place but the engine is still gone okay the engine is still gone so let's go ahead and put that engine back on um, while I'm doing that while I'm putting that engine back on I do want to wish everybody happy holidays and a ha Merry Christmas happy holidays um, one thing that they announced the um, in the Wingman's Hangar, I don't know if you guys watch it, I'm sure you do, but if you watch Wingman's Hangar, they talk about um, a large patch happening this week, okay, well this patch that's coming out this week, I don't think, the, w the way they talked about it, it doesn't sound like it's going to be the dogfighting module, um, even though that's due sometime this year, <laughs> I uh, expect it to be the uh, gunfighting addition to the hangar module where you can actually you have a platform off to the side that you can mount guns onto and you can shoot it at pop-up targets that's what I'm expecting it to be I do not expect it to be the uh, actual dogfighting module if it is that's awesome oh I didn't even put a ship in there maybe I should maybe I should choose a ship before I start dropping a thruster on it. Well, where, where you go? Now, why'd that come out? See, I don't understand. I think I have to take my mouse off of it before I hit tab to get away from it. Now, if you notice, the ship in the background does not have the engine, but when I close this down, the engine just magically appear. Boop, it's there. Okay, that's cool. That's changing the engine and everything. Okay, let's see if there's any new sounds in the cockpit. Oh, one thing I did want to point out, I totally forgot about this until I jumped in the cockpit. You can actually move your head pretty quick now. In the past, it was very slow and cumbersome. Your head will actually move around very fast so you can track your targets and follow them and, and uh, you know, find out where your wingmen are at and all that stuff. Okay? So, uh, you'll also notice that behind that screen right there, you'll see that it is spinning. The damage console is starting to... Al they're implementing a little bit of that damage console that you've seen in some of my other videos and uh, that should be the map but who knows who knows what's going where I don't think they've decided exactly yet where everything's going um, don't know what all these little gauges are gonna be who knows right okay well let's go to a different view okay and I want to go to a view where you can actually see the pilot okay is it K yeah it's K Okay, see where I'm looking? Check that out. Whoa, whoa, look at that. I can look everywhere. Yeah, look at my head. Exercising in the in the cockpit. Okay, so enough of that silliness. Thanks for coming out and checking out this video, and be sure to come back and check out some more. And again, happy holidays.